Well, if you are a car person like me, you love getting behind the wheel and going to new places. Now's the time to combine what you love with a great cause. Driving enthusiasts like you are hitting the road to raise funds for Parkinson's patient care and research in Drive Toward a Cure. Well, joining me live via Zoom is Vikas Chinen. Hello, good morning to you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me on the show. It's an absolute pleasure. Well, explain why Drive Toward a Cure means so much to you. Sure. You know, Drive Toward a Cure matches my background in the automotive industry with what is my current situation. Uh, more specifically, I'm a 47-year-old person diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Uh, my age puts me in a category of diagnosed individuals who have what's called young onset Parkinson's disease, and mm -hmm. that's people under the age of 50. It represents only 4% of the, par the par Parkinson's patient population. Um, so, you know, it's a great opportunity for me to get involved and put my message out there. It really is. Now, what do you think was the inspiration for this fundraising effort? Now, it was started by the Haggerty Drivers Club, right? Uh, sort of. You know, I, I don't want to take anything away from Haggerty. They're a great organization and an even better partner. Um, but the 75 Days of Challenge was the brainchild of uh, my good friend Deb Pollock, uh, the founder of Drive Toward a Cure. She wanted to capitalize on the drivers out there that are celebrating the summer by road tripping and turn it into an opportunity to tur tur turbocharge our fundraising efforts for various Parkinson's causes. I love that. Now, how does the Drive Toward a Cure campaign work? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it runs through Labor Day and it's open to all cars and licensed drivers nationwide. There's a $20 entry fee that keeps you eligible for weekly prize drawings. That sounds exciting. And look, I am ready for a road trip anytime, especially if we can put it towards a good cause. Well, car clubs, driving enthusiasts are all over this. How can people learn more? People interested in helping and getting involved? Yeah, the best way is to go to our website. Uh, it's on your screen there. It's drive toward a cure dot org slash summer. And all the information is there. Uh, it talks about the registration and the entry fee and the various prizes that we have. Got it. Okay, that website's going to be a good source for those of you wanting to learn more. Well, I would love for you to share a bit of your journey with us since that diagnosis and, and take us through what it's been like since then. Yeah, you know, I, I generally say that I'm living a net better life since diagnosis now that I know that what I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. um, I was dealing with unknown symptoms or unexplained symptoms for years leading up to my diagnosis. Um, and now that I'm, you know, medicated, exercising, eating healthy, managing my stress, and generally doing things that are associated with living well with Parkinson's, um, things are a lot better. Uh, you know, the pain and the stiffness, stiffness are ever present, but um, I'm, I'm better off overall. And I guess I would say if there's a silver lining to being diagnosed with Parkinson's, it's having a sense of purpose that I didn't have before. Um, that is wonderful to hear. You know, sometimes in life when we're handing, handed certain situations, it's so cool to see somebody do great things out of that and inspire others to do so as well. Okay, it takes just $20 to enter and you can win some pretty sweet prizes even if you start now. Share more about how all of that works. Right, so if you go to the site, um, the link that we talked about, www.drivetowardacure.org slash summer, um, you register on the site for $20. Um, you get to create a fundraising page. That's something we enable on our site. You share that with family and friends and ask them to sponsor you either on a per mile or a lump sum basis. Okay. Um, and then you just get out there, drive, um, have fun, make a difference. And then, you know, some of the grand prizes are included day at a performance, right? Uh, excuse me, a day at a performance driving racing school, um, Highland Michelin tires, automotive apparel, uh, and more. It sounds like a lot of fun. Now, are you participating? And if so, are you ready? And what is your participation going to be like? Yeah, I'm, I'm participating for sure. My car is not as exciting as some of the others out there. I'm, oh. I'm currently in a minivan, so I've got a family to lug around. Um, but, you know, it does, like I said, all cars, all drivers, um, uh, all licensed drivers. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. And, you know, there's just a, a sense of community along with the, the, the drive and, and joining and people ask questions. You know, I have a logo on my car that says I'm participating and around, or, or when we're road tripping, people ask questions about it. Absolutely. Well, what car would you say you're looking forward to seeing? Oh, I'd like to see some nice Porsche 911s out there with our logo on them. 
oh my gosh, I'm sure there's going to be so much to see. What would you say is the coolest place that you have driven to or what is the place you would recommend? I really like driving through the mountains, whether it be, you know, the the, the Rockies or the Appalachian um, area. I like I like the scenic drives or, or I, uh, up and down the coast is always great. I live in California, so I love doing the coast highway. Oh, I agree with you. Well, I am all about the Rocky Mountains here in Denver, but the coast drive from San Diego to LA is one that I absolutely love doing. Well, what else do you want people who are watching this morning to know? Well, you know, it's I think it's really important that understand that people understand that Parkinson's is a far reaching disease. There's nearly a million people in the United States living with Parkinson's um, and it's ex expected to rise to 1.2 million by 2020. Uh, there are 90,000 people diagnosed in the U.S. each year, um, 10 million people worldwide living with Parkinson's, um, and that men are one and a half times as likely to have Parkinson's disease. And uh, I think you know, the, the, the last thing I'd like to share is that um, Parkinson's comes along with a host of non-physical symptoms, um, ranging from depression to apathy to cognitive impairment. And so it's not always uh, visible, if you will. Um, yeah. And so I think people you know, should be aware of the non-physical symptoms as well. That is good information right there. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, sharing your journey, and of course, for all the work, the inspiring work that you are doing. Best of luck to you, and of course, take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay, everyone. I mean, it is this simple. Just one trip to the mountains can qualify you for some really neat prizes and help raise much needed funds for patient support and Parkinson's disease research. Learn more and sign up to Drive Toward a Cure at drivetowardacure.org slash summer.